Have you ever pondered life's questions and wondered, will you coffee? Well, today we're gonna find out. Right, so I'm just gonna fill this up with some water for our test. Today we're actually continuing the series, Will It Coffee? So we're gonna see if we can powderize different ingredients and turn them into coffee. So obviously for a normal coffee, what you usually do is powderize your beans, place it into there, uh, and pour your espresso through the machine like that. So we're gonna be doing something a little different. Instead of using powderized coffee, we're gonna be trying a number of different things that you definitely wouldn't usually try in a coffee machine. So let's get started on our first test. Will it coffee, Skittles edition. Let's find out. Right, so our first job on this is actually gonna be powderize our Skittles like coffee beans. So let's get them into this mini blender. Let's see how well they'll blend. Right, so our Skittles actually did blend. We've got powdered Skittles there, that's quite cool. Let's see if we can scoop it into our porter filter here. Hey, that's a good scoop. You can see all the colorful bits in there. It's so interesting looking already. Right, so we've got a scoop in there. Let's see how well it tamps down now. Try and get this as balanced as possible. Let's set this up in our machine and we'll see how the pour is. So now we'll get our machine on and let's put a porter filter under there. Where is it? Come on, lock it in. We'll let this heat up and then we'll pour our Skittles coffee. Right, let's pour our coffee in three, two, one. Let's see how our coffee comes out. It's gonna come out at all, I wonder. Whoa, look at that color, what? It smells so much like Skittles as well, it's so strong. and It's got some oil in there, where's that from? Right, let's get our milk ready and then we'll pour our Skittles, I guess, latte. Let's pour our milk into our Skittles espresso. Well, there it is, folks, our Skittles coffee. Let's just get this in us and see what it's like. So that's curdled a bit on top, I can see, because of the citric acid in the Skittles, but let's try it. It's a very interesting flavor. It's like Skittles, but much softer. I guess this is kind of what beige Skittles would taste like. They were just like a lot, slightly less flavorful, uh, slightly less sweet. This is exactly what it tastes like. The milk is kind of mixed in it. I quite like this. I think this is almost tastes like, tastes like a bedtime drink. It's quite nice. I'm gonna give it like a six out of 10, I think. That's not bad at all. Right, on to our next test. Will it coffee Cheetos edition? Let's find out. So of course we need to get our little Cheetos into the blender first, so we can make a powder. Right, in three, two, one. Right, there's our blended Cheetos. Let's see how well they scoop. <clears throat> Into our porter filter. Ooh, good scoop. That's quite good. Cheetos dust, yum. Okay, let's see what sort of tamp we get on this. Again, I don't want to press this too hard because I want to make sure the water can still run through. All right, let's get into our machine now and get it underneath. Get this bad boy on. Let's see if Cheetos coffee in three, two, one. There we go. Look, it's coming through now. There's less orange than I thought it'd be, a little bit. So we've got a Cheetos crema on top of that and then we've got the espresso body beneath. <laughs> Let's pour our milk into our Cheetos espresso. So we can see it's got some Cheetos oil flavoring on the top. Let's see what this is like. Overall, the Cheetos flavor is quite subtle on this one. It does come through a little bit, you get that sort of undertone of cheese, but it mostly tastes like hot milk, to be honest. Which is not bad at all. Obviously, you've got to remember the Cheetos, 99% of it is like puffed corn flour, and then there's just got a little bit of flavoring. And that's what's coming through, that sort of undertone of cheese, which is not bad, like, like I said before. I'm gonna give that like a three, three, four out of 10. Very cool. Right, moving on to our final test today. Will it coffee Oreo edition? Let's find out. Right, so obviously the first thing we need to do is turn this into a powder. So let's get our Oreos into our blender. That should do. Let's give them a blend. So there's our Oreo powder, I've got to say, Smells and looks the most like coffee out of all the ones we've done today. So let's scoop this into there. Let's... Good scoop. Look at that. So satisfying. Right, let's see how it presses. Very smooth. Oh, that's nice. Right, let's get it loaded into our machine here. So let's find out. Will it coffee Oreos? Oh, look at that. That's an amazing color. I mean, it smells good as well. Right, let's pour the milk into our Oreo coffee and see what it's like. Look at that. Now that does look good. Right, let's try the Oreo's coffee and see what it's like. So again, like before, I've got to say, the flavors are very subtle. It's a lot, a lot less of a cocoa flavor than you expect. And that's because essentially we're distilling through the Oreo flavor of our, in our, through our filter. I'm gonna give that like an eight out of 10. Quite enjoyable. Very cool. 
Right, so we pondered life's questions, done a few tests, and even made a coffee out of Skittles. Who says we don't do it all? As I mentioned before, we've got lots of big plans, so make sure you stick around and subscribe to not miss them. We're going to be doing some really cool projects over the next few months, so make sure uh, you check those out. So as always, we'll end on these wise words. Very cool.